Good day, folks. Welcome back to another time video. Um, tonight we're going to do a um, little pheasant tail. Um, pretty staple pattern. Been around forever and probably fished it more this year than I have in past and uh, treated me fairly well. So we'll go ahead and get started. I've got a size 14 curved nymph hook in the vise and I've got some olive uh, Danville thread and so I'm just gonna tie in my thread there right to the bend of the hook and then I've got some pheasant tail here um, this is a dyed olive but that's not super important any uh, any pheasant tail should do just fine <clears throat> So I'm just gonna grab four or five pieces and just secure that <clears throat> up top. It's a little longer than I'd like, but um, just a fairly short tail there. And then sneak back in front, come up to about the three quarter point <clears throat> on the hook shank and grab a piece of small gold ultra wire and I'm just gonna get that tied in as well. And wrap that back right to kind of where I left off at the back here. So I'll get that done. And then I'm just gonna spend a wee bit of time, not a ton, giving this a little bit of a taper. So I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth and Get that taper working a little bit for us there. Kind of like so. Um, now I'm gonna grab a pair of hackle pliers and just grab a hold of this pheasant tail and just wrap that up the shank, covering up all that thread. Lost a couple fibers there, but that's okay. So we'll get that wrapped, secure that where I can. Boy, I made a mess of that, didn't I? <clears throat> so just get that tied off, get these stragglers out of here. That's the joys of using four or five fibers. That happens to you. It's not a big deal. You just keep on tying. <clears throat> okay, now we'll just clean up these butts just a wee bit. Yeah, she's looking good. So now I'm going to take my wire and just counter wrap this pheasant tail it's going to make it durable and um, help it hold together for you when the fish are chomping on it they're not the most durable of patterns if you really want to make this thing durable you can throw some super glue or crazy glue down um, before you wrap your pheasant tail and then that will help to secure it even further but um so now we've got our body done so the next step is going to be a wing case and for that i'm going to use the exact same pheasant tail this time probably six or eight fibers and just place those right on top of the shank tie back to where we finished off the body <clears throat> just like so make sure that's centered right up top that looks good and then now I've got a little bit of I thought I did peacock dub there it is so we'll take this peacock dub and build a little bit of a thorax 
And now obviously a traditional one would use peacock curl and then pheasant tail for the legs. So rather than deal with tying in the legs, I like to, and I've had quite good success using this peacock dubbing and then just picking it out uh, once I've done the fly. It's a nice buggy dubbing. And uh, so you'll see when we're done here. So now I'm gonna fold that pheasant tail over. You know what, before I do that, gonna back this up just a little bit here I think I went a little more dubbing on that thorax than I needed <clears throat> that looks a little bit better just like that don't need a ton <clears throat> so now I'll take this and just fold that straight over you can see there, just capture that with a few wraps, just like so. Come in here, nip that out of there, and then I'll just clean the head up just a little bit. Come in, four or five turns, and snip that out of there, and that's almost all she wrote. So you can either take a bodkin or just a Velcro brush here and we'll just give that a little bit of a raking back and forth and you can see as we do that we get lots of little fibers coming out and that gives the fly a little bit of the buggy factor and the buggy factor catches fish. So there it is, that's the uh, super simple little pheasant tail. It uh, was a crusher for me this year and has been for a lot of years. So uh, throw a little dab of super glue or head cement, UV resin, whatever you want on your thread wraps up top and uh, fish it. That thing will catch you fish. So that's all there is to it. Thanks very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And until the next one, cheers and tight lines.